तो आज की क्लास में हम देखेंगे कि कैसे हम जो एक्सेस ग्रिप्स से एनर्जी है उसका यूज़ करते हुए एक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट को डिटरमाइन करेंगे एक्चुअली फॉर नॉन आइडियल सॉल्यूशन देर आर सिविलल साइंटिस्ट एंड रिसर्चर्स फॉर गिवेन रिलेशन विच वी विल सी वन बाई वन एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दी एक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट वन एंड एक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट टू सो द इनिशियल स्टार्टेड विद द मर्गिल्स साइंटिस्ट नेम एंड ही हैज गिवेन वन इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन इज एल एन गामा वन इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स टू स्क्वायर एंड एल एन गामा टू इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स वन स्क्वायर सो ही हैज स्टार्टेड द एक्सेस गिफ्ट एनर्जी फॉर कंपोनेंट आई दैट आई सिग्मा ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू सी एक्स आई एल एन गामा इफ यू राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द बाइनरी टर्म सो वी कैन राइट the x1 ln gamma 1 plus x2 ln gamma 2 so from this equation let's give this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 so in equation number 2 we can see that the g by rt is a basically the function of x1 and x2 so <coughs> the mergulls has a two point constant a and he write, uh, he write that this expression like uh, suffix two suffix mergulls equation we call so g by rt is constant a into x1 x2 so he has assumed this one where way is adjustable parameters so let's we know that the for g1 x1 for g1 x1 ln gamma 1 so ln 1 is equal to g by rt because when we talk about the component one x1 will be there g is there so g1 g1 is written like that do nge by ni n1 so where n is the total number of components where p p and n2 will be the constant so because we consider that uh, more than one component so the n will be written n1 plus n2 or we have only binary so we can write n1 plus n2 into g by rt into do ni where temperature pressure and n2 is again constant now we know uh, here from here we assume that g by rt is equal to ax1 x2 so x1 is what nothing but the mole fraction and this mole fraction we can write n1 upon n1 plus n2 and similarly x2 is the mole fraction of component 2 this we can write n2 upon n1 plus n2 so let's put this uh, values of g by rt over this equation so when we uh, kept the values of g by rt over this expression so the expression becomes do by do n1 n1 plus n2 which was here n1 plus n2 into g by rt g by rt is what a x1 x2 or a n1 by n1 plus n2 into n2 by n1 plus n2 uh, n1 plus n2 right so both is term is written here n1 upon n1 plus n2 into n2 upon n1 plus n2 where still temperature pressure and n2 is the constant now when we simplify he this one so n1 plus n2 in numerator and denominator both will be cancelled so the term will be remaining n1 into n2 here you can see the both will be cancelled so n1 n2 a n1 n2 upon n1 plus n2 this will be remaining now still uh, here in this case temperature pressure and n2 are the constant so because this n2 is constant and a is adjustable parameter this is also constant we take it outside so the term is remaining n1 upon n1 plus n2 so this n1 upon n1 plus n2 we apply the uh, differential formula to calculate such thing so denominator into differentiation of numerator minus numerator into differentiation of denominator divided by square of the denominator so this uh, square of the denominator we applied here and keeping a into n2 outside so while solving this do by do n1 a do n1 n1 so this will be 1 do n1 by n1 plus n2 so n2 will be constant so is still do n1 by n1 so here n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 minus this minus symbol will be here and into n1 
into n1 whole bracket outside a into n2 upon n1 plus n2 square. This value comes here. Now n1 and n1 will be cancelled. So what is remaining n2? So therefore a n2 into n2. So a n2 square upon n1 plus n2 square and n2 upon n1 plus n2 is nothing but the x2. So we can write a x2 square. Similar way if we work we will get the expression for ln gamma 2 and that will become a x1 square. <coughs> so this equation is uh, this relation suggests by the Margulis equation and this is very applicable when the particles of the molecules are similar in size, shape and their chemical nature. So this is the very strong limitation of this Margulis equation and that is why this is valid for certain range or some selected group of components. If you go beyond of that one like uh, uh, if I have the component of carbon uh, methane and uh, we take the benzene. So there is a large uh, molecular size difference maybe such case this equation is not applicable or whatever value we will get that value is not justifiable. To sorting out such problems given by the Margulis equation, the Redley Kister has uh, specified another relation for ln gamma 1 and gamma 2. And here he has given the expression ln gamma 1 is equal to x1 into x2 uh, into bracket a plus b x1 minus x2 plus c into x1 minus x2 square plus this, this bracket close means this will be expanding with the constant plus x2 into a into x2 minus x1 plus b into 6 x1 into x2 minus 1 plus 6 uh, c into x1 minus x2 into 8 x1 x2 minus 1 and so on. Similarly for ln gamma 2 x1 into x2 in bracket a plus b into x1 minus x2 plus c into x1 minus x2 square plus this is a bracket close minus x1 into a x2 minus x1 plus b x1 x2 minus 1 plus c into x1 minus x2 into 8 x1 x2 minus 1. So this two expression for activity coefficient in a non-ideal solution is given by the Redley Kister equation and with the known value of a, b and c we can calculate the value of gamma and gamma 2. But the value of a, b and c we can get from the experimental only. So there are certain limitations by the Redley Kister equation. These equations are really helpful when we deal some non-ideal solutions. But whenever we use, we must remind there is the limitation with the their size, shape and chemical in nature. So this formula may be useful for various size and chemical in nature, right? Various size and chemical in nature. But we need to know the experimental values of this A, B and C. So keep watching to learn thermodynamics and learn properties of solution.